the vast majority of people who switch to a plant-based diet, they will see a wonderful improvement in their cholesterol, blood pressure and triglyceride levels, amongst many other amazing benefits. Not only is there anecdotal evidence of this, but there are also numerous scientific studies to back this up. In this review, they found that people eating plant-based diets over the long term consistently have lower triglyceride levels. There's a complex condition called Syndrome X, where patients can present with many metabolic abnormalities including elevated triglyceride levels, impaired fasting glucose and insulin resistance. And in this study, participants were put on an intensive three-week plant-based dietary and exercise program called the Pritikin program. The results were astonishing, with patients experiencing weight loss and reductions in triglycerides, cholesterol and insulin levels, essentially curing Syndrome X. This study also confirmed these findings. However, there can be a small handful of people who switch to a vegan diet who find that their triglyceride levels actually go up. Why is this and how can we fix it? Let's take a listen to Dr. Michael Greger as he answers these questions. And triglycerides is more of an issue with, you know, processed foods, uh, refined sugar starches. There's all sorts of processed plant foods, like the refined flour products and things. So if you went over to completely whole grains and still had a problem with triglycerides, then I would actually move to intact whole grains. So not just whole grains. So, uh, you know, whole wheat flour, that's a whole grain product. It's ground up so small, it's actually absorbed very rapidly into our system, even though it's whole grain, which is wonderful. Um, but so then actually moving to intact grains. So eating things so like steel cut oatmeal, you can eat wheat berries, you can eat, there's all sorts of, you know, wonderful grains you can eat whole. Cutting out flour products would be the next step if they uh, still suffered from high triglycerides. Um, when you eat, you know, refined carbs, like, you know, drink a soda or something, the blood sugar levels in your system rise so rapidly. You're not used to that kind of rapid rise because, you know, we've evolved for millions of years with never having access to that kind of stuff except maybe a little honey once in a while, and then there were bees protecting it. You get this dramatic spike in blood sugar. Your body freaks out and actually overshoots, releasing too much insulin to lower your blood sugars, and then that overshoot, your blood sugars actually dip too low, so they plunge back down and actually go down below you become hypoglycemic so you actually end up with less sugar in your blood than you had before you started eating you were fasting and then you had some maple syrup coated refined white flour pancakes or something um so your blood sugars you know start out 80 or something spike way up you release so much insulin they actually go down 70, 60, so they actually end up with less sugar in your blood than when you were fasting before you even ate breakfast, and your body freaks out, thinks you're in like some famine situation or something because your blood sugars are so low and actually shoots fat into the system. And just to keep your brain alive, thinking, oh my God, we're going to die here, floods the system with fat, which is triglycerides, these fatty acids into the system to try to keep things going. And so anytime we have that, that dip below fasting, um, we can get that shoot of triglycerides. And so it's all about trying to level out um, those sugars going into our blood. And we can do that by eating whole food. So for example, if you eat whole fruit, you don't get that rapid rise because the, the fiber helps slow the absorption of sugars into your system. And so you don't get the excess insulin release. And so you don't get the hypoglycemic episode. So you don't get that extra fat into your blood. And so that's why it's important, you know, eat whole food plant-based. We want people to stay away from processed foods. For most people, that just means okay, stopping eating white flour, you know, white pasta, white bagels, that kind of thing. But for some people, it means really unprocessed, and that means moving to intact grains. Dr. Greger has written an incredible book called How Not to Die. It's now also available in Swedish, Spanish, German, Italian, as well as an audiobook. Links to buy the book will be in the description below, along with a link to his outstanding website, nutritionfacts.org. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below and subscribe for more upcoming videos. If you want to see what I'm eating, follow me on Instagram at 801010 in London.